So hey everyone, this is Joe PK, and I'm at home today with the whole family, and uh, the plan is to do some cooking today. We can't go spearfishing because there's been a big storm sweeping across the southwest of England, so um, I got in the water two days ago before that storm approached. I did some uh, diving for bass in the kelp forest, a bit of jigging for mackerel, but after that I went to my secret flatfish spot and I managed a lovely turbot and a dover sole. First of all, take a look at the footage from the dive the other day and then we'll bring you back to the kitchen, we'll do some filleting, we'll do some cooking and we'll do some eating. approaching. Tomorrow they're giving it 4 metre waves, 60 mile per hour winds. So it's the calm before the storm. I'm just really excited to get in the water, see what's about. Fish are behaving exactly as I thought they would be before the storm. Really, really chilled out. I got a nice fish in the boat, knocked it out. It knew absolutely nothing about it. The wind's actually dropped off a bit. I'm going to have to get back in the water quickly. I'm just going to let the boat drift. I'm going to have a little look over the sand. Uh, right where I'm jigging for these mackerel to see if I can find a place. Oh wow, look at this fish. Just pulled him in. Just before I nailed the turbot, I bumped into a Dover sole. Look at this, Dover sole. This is turning out to be a good trip. These fish are the best eating fish on the planet, really. A whole fish like this will cost you about 50 pounds. This is a kilo, and this Dover sole is half a kilo. It's gonna cost you more around 30 pounds for the whole fish, so we have taken our time to fetch the finest ingredients to cook these fish as well as possible. We don't wanna mess these valuable fish up. Cut the frills. Make a nick in the tail. Don't pull the fish away from the skin. Roll the skin away from the fish. You can just rip it right off the head. Take our knife, draw it down the backbone. I think these are going to be turned into fish fingers. The ideal way to fillet flatfish is to push away from the center of the fish. So I'm going to make a nice smooth cut and I should be able to just get my knife in. Good job. We're going to do this fish justice. Turbot yeah. is just going to be pan fried. We've got a champagne beurre blanc sauce. With regards to the sole, mm -hmm. that's going to be turned into fish fingers. It feels nice and firm, this is going to be great. We've got great oil heating in the pan, in the flour, and dill. Rub it through the egg wash, and then finally, breadcrumbs. Wow, I'm very excited to try this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, 
So, Chef Bart, are you proud of your concoction? Oh, let's do a taste test and find out. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> George eating an apple from a tree outside. Yeah. Let's take one. Thank you. Dover selfish finger is the best. I don't mm. ever want to go back to anything else. <laughs> 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 a few crumbs on his plate, but he's eating like oh, fish fingers. Yeah, yeah. He's eating his fingers now. <laughs> and that is just delicious. Oh, fish fingers. What was your verdict, Nikki? It was just incredible. It was absolutely delicious. The turbot was just the nicest texture of fish and the nicest flavour, just nice gentle flavour of fish. I've tasted in a long time. And the fish fingers were just... Dover fish fingers with what well, I don't ever want to go back to any other fish fingers <laughs> now. <laughs> Dover sole has always been my favourite flatfish. However, this has become very difficult to decide. The turbot's texture is incredible. I wouldn't say it's better than the Dover sole, I'd say it's a tie. 